As we conclude Black History Month, we wanted to highlight a new place in Sacramento that's brewing espresso, community, and culture into its own special blend. Drip is a black woman and sister-owned coffee shop in the heart of Cap City, serving up more than just your average cup of joe. Two-thirds of the dynamic trio join us this morning. Kiona Williamson and Jasmine Bronson are the founders of Drip and join us this morning. And I wanted to start off with you, Kiona, and ask you, your coffee shop has gotten quite a lot of buzz around it. Tell us about Drip and what guests can expect when entering. Yeah, um, that is still uh, so mind-blowing to us, but Drip Espresso is a labor of love from our family to the Sacramento community. Um, we focus on two things, and actually three things, and that's brewing great espresso um, roasted locally from BIPOC women and or LGBTQ roasters. We focus on building a community that feels welcome and at home anytime they walk into our space, um, and we're focused on um, participating in local civic culture. Oh, I like this so much. And I wanted to bring you in the conversation, Jasmine. What made the three of you want to open your own coffee shop surrounded around espresso, community, and culture? Absolutely. It was really um, in the pandemic that Kiana and I discovered the need uh, for a coffee shop um, that was kind of the right fit for us. Um, we actually just purchased homes in, this, in the same um, complex so we were you know uh, trying to telework like everyone else and um, the only kind of places uh, near us are kind of um, you know like the, the common name shops and mm -hmm. this wasn't what we were looking for so I mean what better solution than to just to create the space that we're that that we need <laughs> well that is so exciting and Kiana you drip prides themselves on sourcing your ingredients locally I read from BIPOC women and LGBTQ plus vendors why was that important to you at drip Absolutely. It's our aspirational goal that we're working towards every single day to uncover uh, micro businesses who uh, can help serve our customers through their offerings um, and their businesses. It's really important because as we were walking away and building our coffee shop, we noticed that uh, coffee can be a very exclusive industry and that uh, folks, you know, typically source from the same few vendors, and it leaves a lot of people out of the conversation who deserve to be a part of it. So it was really important that we used our business, not just to, uh, you know, make profit or uh, to be uh, personally successful, but that we brought a community of people together with us because it just makes success all the more sweeter. Yeah, I like that you're making it all inclusive and making sure that you're highlighting other local businesses as well within your own growth. And Jasmine, I wanted to talk about the menu what kind of drinks and food can i enjoy at drip absolutely so we have um we have a seasonal specialty menu that will continue to change throughout the seasons that we call our new girls um but for now our specialties we have a melanated mocha which is our play on a mocha has a little bit of cayenne in there um our a couple of our favorites are the golden hour which is a turmeric mix based latte which is amazing, and our Cardi Rose, which is a mix of cardamom spice and rose syrup. And then lastly, the Bees in the Trap, which is a fan favorite. If you're looking for something more on the sweeter side, it's a traditional latte with um, some extra honey in there. Ooh, Jasmine, I like it. I love the names of the drinks, and I understand there's also some, some snacks we can expect too, right, Jasmine? Absolutely, <laughs> so those are what we call our Batty bites, and um, these cater to a vegan, vegetarian, and soon to come gluten free menu. So, um, with our, we have our Gigi toast, which uh, is our avocado toast um, named after Kiana and Taylor's mother. Oh. Uh, she's the best Gigi. And, <laughs> and then we have our um, the Jada, which is my mother, which has our black eyed peat hummus, which we make also in house. Okay, I had one of my friends bragging about your avocado toast. They couldn't get over just how good alone the bread was. So it's exciting to see that you've got drinks and snacks for people to enjoy. And Kiana, I wanted to ask you, we have to talk about how we, we've got three black female entrepreneurs representing Sacramento right now. How are you feeling about all of this? Are you truly absorbing the impact that you're making? Um, you know, we're taking it day by day. We're new business owners. We're family. We're trying to uh, embark on something that has the potential to be successful, which is uh, new for us, but we have some great 
role models. I think we're following the footsteps of a lot of uh, local black owned businesses in Sacramento that have been thriving for years yeah. that just have not been uh, elevated, I think, by the community enough. So, uh, you know, we're really grateful for our success, but our success comes on the backs of the success of a lot of other women, uh, entrepreneurs, um, and, and people who have already paved the way for us. So we're walking the way that they've paved for us, and we're going to give homage and, and, and be as humble as possible about um, what we're here to do. This is our mission, and we're, um, you know, we're, we're just excited to be a part of it. I <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the excitement in your voice. Kiana, a pleasure having you on, Jasmine as well. And to get your daily grind of coffee, you can follow them on Instagram at Drip Espresso for more.